July edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today we're going to be making a wave machine. Very, very cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and explain what we need for this experiment, but remember you can find all of our details for everything that we do here on our website, which is at www.rhfleet.org. All right, here we go. We are going to need 20 straws. We Great. chose multicolored. Because we're cool like that. 40 paper clips, not colored, I guess. Two pieces of scotch tape. Two feet long each. Two feet long each, and one washer, metal washer. We're gonna like wanna this. weight down our wave machine. Exactly, we wanna get us started. Cool, let's get started. So I'm gonna actually move this one that we made in advance and let you hold it and play with it. And what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna estimate my two feet to be about this long. And I'm going to lay the tape flat on the table, sticky side up, because we're going to actually uh, put some straws on them. So I've counted out 20 straws. I've put paper clips on the end of each. So just to do that, you're actually just going to slide the paper clip on the end on one side, and then slide the paper clip on the end on the other side. And then you're actually going to lay your straws out in the center of the tape, and just about an inch apart from each other. And I could be more methodical and measure this out, as I'm sure you viewers at home will be. You certainly will be methodical. One inch apart. And you're going to place all 20 straws on the sticky strip of tape. Really easy. Do you mind holding this side? Sure. Cool. So I'm not going to go through the entire process, but you're going to keep laying them out. And then when you're done with your 20 straws, you're going to get another piece of tape, which is 20 feet long. No, not two 20, feet long. Two but feet two long. feet long. So I want to make a really big one. <laughs> That'd be really cool to have like a sculpture outside of this <laughs> wave. Okay, anyway. And then you're going to place uh, this the piece of tape on top of the other piece of tape that you used. So yours will look much more Yours will look exactly like this one. And beautiful. We use blue tape so you can see a little bit more. Yeah. And as you can see, the uh, straws are, do you want to hold it taut? I will. Um, the straws are actually in the middle. Here we have the paper clips on the end. We have the washer on one end. And to use your wave machine, you're just going to hit one end of it. Whoa. Ooh, that's cool. That was a good one. Can do it again? Look at that. In some experiments you can try with this, you can try tapping it continuously and seeing how that changes. It goes back and forth, doesn't it? It definitely goes back and forth. That's really neat. You can try uh, adding paper clips to one side and not the other. You can, add tape, you can actually take off the paper clips completely. Uh, and just see what's going on. Make some good observations about waves. Uh, so Brandon, can you tell us a little bit more about these waves that we're making? Yeah, so every time we tap it, if you want to tap it one more time, you're basically creating energy on that end. And you're sending that energy from one end to the other. That's basically what a wave is. A wave transfers energy from one point to another, like that. So if you go through this, you can kind of see the different parts of a wave. We've got the top part would be the crest. The spots in between the crest would be called wavelength. That's some kind of, you know, really technical stuff if you really want to get into it. But the this trough is really, would be the bottom. And the trough would be the right. bottom, exactly. So you can get pretty pretty technical about this. Um, the paper clips that she put on here basically add weight to it, so that really helps to give it some motion. And it just looks really, really cool. I love this. Thanks. Yeah. Well, we just opened up a new exhibit called Motion Mania, and it's all about these kinds of t concepts, uh, in addition to stuff like turbulent flow, momentum. So definitely come on over and check it out. All, all right. right. Yeah. Thanks, Brandon. Thank cool. you, viewers, for watching at home. And remember, do, do try, try this, this at home. home.